final final reading of the presents for today. The most short-lived president in my in the history of the U.S. presidency, Mr. John F. Kennedy, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, 35th president, born May 29, 1917, 1917, in Brookline, Massachusetts. Died November 22, 1963, in Dallas, Texas. He was known as Jack or JFK. His father was Joseph P. Kennedy, who died in 1969. Mother was Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy, who died in 1995. Wow. Uh, his wife was Jacqueline Lee Bo Bouvier Kennedy, who died in 1994. Children was Caroline Bouvier, who I believe is still alive. John Fitzgerald Jr., who died in 1999 in a plane crash. And Patrick Bouvier, 1963. Born in 63, but I'm not sure if he lived very long. He was a Roman Catholic, the, the first Roman Catholic. Harvard College, 1940. He was a politician and an author. He served in World War II, enlisted in the Navy in September 1941 as an ensign. Later promoted to lieutenant, earned a Purple Heart in August 1953 off Solomon Islands as skipper of the PT-109. He was discharged in April 1941. He was a U.S. representative from 1947 to 53 and a U.S. senator from 53 to 1961. Served only one term, and we know why. He was elected, he was inaugurated January 20th, 1961. He was a Democrat, his vice president was LBJ. In the election in 1960, Mr. Kennedy got 303 electoral votes, which are Nixon, 219. In the popular votes, Ms. Kennedy got 34,000, 34,226,731. 34, Mr. Nixon got 34,108,000. Uh, 157. That's a pretty, pretty close rate, close race for the popular vote. The cabinet of Mr. Kennedy includes Dean Rusk, Secretary of State, C. Douglas Dillon, Secretary of Treasury, Robert S. McN McNamara, Secretary of Defense, his brother Robert F. Kennedy, Attorney General. J. Edward Day, a Postmaster General, followed by John A. Granowski. Uh, Stuart Udall, Sec Secretary of the Interior. Orville L. Freeman, Secretary of Agriculture. Luther Hodges, Secretary of Commerce. Arthur J. Goldberg, Secretary of Labor, followed by Will W. Willard Wirtz, Wirtz. Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare, Abraham Ribikoff, followed by Anthony Celebrez. Supreme Court appointments, Byron White, we've heard of him, through the, um, Byron White, uh, who was a uh, inspiration for Neil Gorsuch, Justice, Justice Neil Gorsuch. Byron White, 1962, followed by Arthur J. Goldberg. Kennedy was the first president born, oh, born, and born in the 20th century. Kennedy was the first president born in the, the, the 20th century started in 1901, right? Yeah. So, let's see. Let's make sure that uh, that's correct. 1917, okay. I, I kind of doubted that, but, but I may have read it wrong the first time. Eisenhower... Eighteen ninety, okay. Truman was born. Okay, yeah, that's right. So Kennedy is the first president born in the twentieth century. Cool. Now that that now that is correct. All right, 1961 population, U.S. population, 1961, 
179,323,031. National debt of 1963, $309,346,845,059. Kennedy was the first president to have served on active duty in the U.S. Navy. Kennedy was the first Roman Catholic president. Know that. Kennedy was the first president to hold a televised news conference. Kennedy had won a Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prize prior to becoming president for his book Profiles and Courage. Peace Corps, established on March 1st, 1961. On October 13, 1960, candidate John F. Kennedy asked an audience of 10,000 at the University of Michigan if they will be willing to devote part of their time and energies to serving overseas for humanitarian causes. Once Kennedy became president, he quickly moved forward to create the, this organization of youthful volunteers with some derisively called Kennedy's Kitty Corps. Kennedy's Kitty Corps, Sergeant Shriver, Kennedy's brother-in-law, headed the new organization and ensured the Peace Corps fulfilled its mission of promoting a better understanding of the world by, us, by sending young Americans to help people in under, underdeveloped nations. Kennedy was the first former Boy Scout to be elected president. Hey. First Boy Scout to be elected president. The first family. The new elected president was 43 years old with two small children in tow. The new first family exemplified youth in, a, in the White House. They had not heard the, the laughter of young children since Teddy Roosevelt's turn. Jackie modeled halt couture and her sense of style was applauded in the United States as well as on the world stage. Women copied her bouffant hair topped in a pillbox hat. She traveled more than any previous first lady, that's Jackie. And when accompanying, accompanying her husband to France, he equipped that he was only the man who accompanied Jacqueline Kennedy to Paris. News cameras rolled and captured the delight on the president's face whenever he saw Caroline or John Jr. running toward him. The proud parents determinedly determinedly attempted to keep their children living as normal a life as possible. An alarm boasted a swing set and a trampoline. A preschool was established in the executive mansion so the two could meet and play with other children. Oh, that's nice. White House Restoration. Once she began residing in the White House, Jackie Kennedy immediately made plans to improve its appearance which she believed had been allowed to deteriorate and update its worn and outdated furnishings. Working with interior designers and private donations to supplement the $50,000 allocated by Congress, she managed to transform the mansion into a stately residence. Mrs. Kennedy also created the White House Historical Association, which developed a guidebook of the mansion that was sold to provide ongoing funding for this re of this restoration as well as future projects. On Valentine's Day, 1962, the First Lady took television viewers on a tour of the newly redecorated home and displayed some of the treasures she had found in storage rooms, including the desk in the Oval Office presented to President Hayes by Queen Victoria. That's Rutherford B. Hayes, by the way. Berlin Wall con Construction. The East German government decided to take action rather than continue to watch the constant flood of the country's professionals and skilled workers leave for West Germany. Early in the pre-dawn hours of August 13, 1961, barbed wire began being sprung and roadblocks established, cordoning off East Berlin from the rest of the city. Movement was severely restricted between the sectors. A few days later, the first concrete blocks were erected as a permanent barrier that would become known as the Berlin Wall. Berlin, Berliners were no longer permitted to pass 
between the two sectors of the city from August 1961 until November 1989, when the Berlin Wall came down. And that was by Ronald Reagan and Gorbachev. Physical fitness. Although President Eisenhower initially established a Council on Physical Fitness, it was President Kennedy who made his goals a priority. Before taking office, J JFK wrote an article for Sports Illustrated tell telling of his plans to reorganize the Council and become more involved. involved. The President's Council of Physical Fitness developed standards and curriculums for the nation's youth, which were not mandated but implemented by many school districts across the nation. Presidents since Kennedy have continued to sponsor the council and its efforts to improve the health and fitness of Americans of all ages. Did we know Kennedy is one of the two presidents buried in Arlington Cemetery? The other is William Howard Taft. Space program. On May 25th, 1961, President Kennedy addressed the joint session of Congress and said, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. No single space project in this period will, will be more impressive to mankind. Kennedy's goal was attained on July 20th, 1969, when Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon and from the sea of tranquility, Neil Armstrong proclaimed, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Finally, did we know Kennedy was the only president to appoint his brother to a cabinet position? And then, of course, he was assassinated by JF, uh, by, uh, in Dallas, Texas. Many people believe the CIA was involved, the FBI may have been involved, and other people believe that the La Cosa Nostra Italian Mafia, American Mafia, not Italian, but American Mafia, uh, was involved in the assassination of JFK. And that will be the, all the readings for today in the presidents. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.